Hi there, it's Tasfiq Ludadi from Calligraphy. Okay. So today we are going to actually, we are going to watch that how to edit this indoor photo in a really good way and which will be look so much in it like cinematic. Like you know what, um, for capturing the best moment, for capturing the best photo, you need to go outside or um, you need to go to on the sunlight but it's actually on the you know what on the Bangladesh military museum and it, you, you can say it's actually uh, indoor photo so we're going to see that how it will look as an indoor photo if we try to make it cinematic so let's just start it but now we are on the editing panel so um, actually as we can see we are going to use the adobe lightroom app which you can download from play store and download and install it and then create your adobe account and start using it so yes it's totally raw photo um i haven't edited yet now we are now i'm going to edit that so first let's click on the edit so now what we're we need to do um this is an indoor photo and that's why we can see that this is actually a little bit of overexposed photo so we need to decrease the exposure a little bit yes we can see before and after this is that was before and uh, yeah now it's after okay, let's go. and then what we need to do um little you know we have decreased the high um exposure so we need to actually increase uh, highlights a little bit so we have increased that and shadows um all right if we can okay, increase a little oh sorry it's white uh, uh, yes shadows yes uh, we need to decrease a little bit of the shadows one and we need to increase the white um i'm increasing the white and uh, the blacks I can decrease it a bit yeah that's that look that is actually looking nice now a little bit nice so then actually you know what guys photo editing in the photo editing part there is actually like from my opinion the most important thing is the light and the color so we have <coughs> we have edited the light and then um, okay, yes, teal. We need to edit a little bit more. But uh, yes, we have the carve option. But uh, yes, we will edit that. But first, we have the color. So before going to edit the color, so I need to say that the blur, effects, detail, optics, profile, or, or no, okay, a lot of options go. are there. You can actually, you know, increase the quality with it. Um, it's up to you so uh, what can we see okay if we just uh, from the light if we literally decrease a little bit uh, yes I guess that looks nice if we increase a little bit then what you need to do we need to um, increase the temperature a little bit so I'm keeping it six or okay six is okay i guess um all right seven seven is completely okay, okay and the reference yes so yes that was the before that you can see and that is now the after and saturation all right yes four four is looking nice so then um, let's go to the mix option let's see what we can edit more so this is the um, you know this photo has become a little bit yellow with a green combination color so if we make it more yellow that will look nice saturation yes a little bit more and we have the orange or oh, all right the co these colors are nice or uh, but we uh, okay yes yeah th yeah that is looking nice now so then um let's go to the light option again because we have the really good um, what can i say option which is called the curve so you know what 
in the curve option um first of all there is a point which is only for uh highlights midtones so shadows areas so if we have the basics we can edit the edit the photo with the curve option so I am keeping the curve here. It is looking a little bit cinematic, right? Um, all right. So now it's looking a little bit nice, and then a lot of colors are there. So if we make it a little bit green, so that it doesn't look bad, uh, let me make it a little bit or not not else a little bit only a little bit yes uh, uh, yes 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 all right yeah now it's um, a little bit of okay then we have the green and yes a little bit a little bit of editing with the carve and then the blue and the yellow so we're gonna keep it yes okay let's go so now look how it's just looking it's really looking awesome right if we just um what can i say hold a little bit yeah you can see the bush before that was like overexposed and the light was kind of not not good at all and now just see it became a little bit of cinematic okay, and it's looking really nice what we need to do now we need to just click on the share button share icon and then we have to just click on save copy to device so then we can save the photo Um, it's taking a little bit of time yes it's safe now so all right um, all right for today everyone and really thank you for watching this video I hope you really enjoyed this video so if you really enjoyed this video you can click on the like button and don't forget to share um, like I just tried my best to make it more cinematic and you know the, t the tutorial can be a really like if you share this video with your friends who is really interested in photography you may share with him it's really important for him so and uh, and at the last yeah take care of my office and okay, if you really need to be up to date just click just like our facebook page and stay with us and see ya subscribe our youtube channel see ya be colorful Okay, let's go.